I have the utmost pleasure of being joined by Heaton. It's been a whole year since we uh, last talked to each other. I, I was sitting at the sea with interviewing you just a year ago. And uh, I, I mean, you, you, you changed so much. <laughs> You changed so much, Ethan. Uh, so much has changed uh, in, in your whole life and in your career uh, that I wouldn't even know where to start. Uh, you became a team manager now of NIP, where you used to play. Um, when exactly this year did that happen and why did it happen? Why did you decide to go back into the gaming like this? Uh, well, it started out with uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive being announced that it was going to go live and uh, it kind of felt like, hey, all the, or I'm not going to say all, but most of the organization kind of treat their players like shit because I've been there myself, I know how it is and how bad you can be treated. So we're like, hey, it's going to be a new game, me and my friend Niklas and uh, Anto Budak who owns Inferno Online. So we're like, hey, let, let, let's do something that, you know, it's with players in the focus, you know, so they have a great stay with the care of them and always being, you know, the good guys, really. Who, who made the choices of the players? Were you the one who said like, I want this guy, I want this guy, I want this guy, this, this, is, this is supposed to be nip, this is going to work? Or was that like a, a, a decision made by many people? Well, it was kind of obvious. In, in the start I choose the Get Right Forest and Exist. That was uh, supposed to be the core. Then the two other spots that the two Source guys, uh, Fibar and Fiflern, took, they were like kind of open in the starts, but uh, they were tested. We were suggesting that me and Niklas, that they, the players would test with them, and it really clicked, you know, on a social level. So we become really good friends, and it works, worked like really, really good in game. So it was, uh, it was our first, uh, you know, pick, and uh, it worked out fine as well. So, but yeah, I choose three of the players, and the rest kind of, you know, we, we don't want to force anyone to play with anyone. So we want the players, you know, to love their teammates as well. Otherwise, you're not going to be successful. So talking about the training, how does it work? Do you guys uh, currently live all in the same house? You have a gaming house, or, or is it still everyone at their place, and you just like kind of set the hours? Yeah, I mean, right now we we, we don't have a gaming house. We're uh, in there, you know, looking into that, so to say. But uh, we, we, we're boot camp at Inferno Online. Our internet cafe, we have our own uh, NIP room there, so it's kind of like a gaming house, except we, we don't sleep there. Same kind of potential that there used to be in Counter Strike. Do you think Cisco can reach that? Can can Nip reach that level of fame again, like you used to have? Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, the the results that the NIP had so far this year is actually more than uh, or better than the, the the old NIP when I played had. So it, it's already broken in that sense. And you can see CSGO, uh, CSGO is growing so much at the moment. And I know that Valve have some really big expansion plan for it that's going to make it explode. Headed that you guys were thinking about expanding uh, with NIP um, and the rumors have it that it might or might not go into the League of Legends uh, kind of area. Anything you want to say about that? <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, <laughs> we, we will expand and uh, <laughs> considering if you look at the stats for all the games and viewers and everything, it will be obvious. So yes, we, of course, we're going in plans for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, it, and it's, it's not only for League of Legends though, but that, that's probably the first pick or that is the first pick at the moment. But it will probably go into StarCraft and Dota as well. Well, I don't want to steal any more of your time, but thanks so much for your insights. It's been really interesting to meet the new Heaton again, like you know, like last year. They, they had a whole completely different plan. So if anyone uh, wants to check that out, just watch the one on the BenQ channel we did last year with you. It's, it's kind of a different person. Uh, is there anything you want to say out there to the fans, to the people following you, or want to have them following you? Like, just any words for the audience? No, yeah, well, uh, I would like to thank all our fans for uh, NIP and for me for supporting us all the time. And uh, yeah, it, it really means a lot to us. And try out the new 27-inch uh, Vancouver monitor.